I just smoked a little hemp before the show, you know. Okay, well. Radio, <laughs> your informational guide. Right. I'm your trip captain, Miles. You're in Static Radio. I'll be your trip captain. To all the fun things to do around Decatur, Illinois. That's right. You can go down. You can go to Crackles and get yourself a burger. Go to In-N-Out Burger. There's no In-N-Out Burger in Decatur. Don't. Oh. Don't get people's hopes up. Uh, no, no In-N-Out Burger. Although. Uh, Yes. I recently really, ugh, I recently read an article <laughs> <laughs> that uh, the Canadian uh, coffee chain Tim Hortons will be moving into the Midwest, so you and I may be able to experience the Tim Hortons uh, coffee experience. But I don't drink coffee. Mm-hmm. So, I don't drink coffee. I know they got donuts as well. That's the part that. Oh, I I'll be there. I am there. <laughs> you can I get am. yourself a curler or whatever. Bear claw. A bear claw and a bow tie. Yeah, exactly. See, that's what I'm talking about. I know my donuts, yeah. When I went to Canada, I I purposefully went into a Tim Hortons just because it is an institution up there, you know. So I got myself a donut. Tim Hortons. A Tim Hortons in Canada, yep. Never heard of it. Well, you'll hear about it. I suppose they're coming down in Chicago and down to Iowa and St. St. Louis, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think so. You might not get one because, you know, you live in bumfuck nowhere, but. uh... (laughs) Iowa City might get one. Yeah. Or what is the name? The Quad Cities might get one. Yeah, more like the Quad Cities than Iowa City, yeah. Or wherever, you know what I'm talking about. I was about. mad that they closed Sonic in Iowa City, man. That's bullshit. Holy moly, they closed the Sonic? That's bullshit. You weren't eating enough hot dogs, apparently. Damn it. I never, I actually, I have seen a Sonic get closed, but. Uh, anyhow. Anywho. Anywho. Yeah. I was traveling. I just read about that because I was traveling. You're traveling. Traveling, 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 traveling. So I was down at Lake of the Ozarks uh, in Missouri. Missouri. Where I go, you know, I have to go every year at least uh, twice for business at least. <laughs> Uh, yes, right. And uh, so I was at this place, and I've been there before. It's a fairly nice place, I wouldn't say. I would say by Missouri standards, you know, it is a pretty nice place, you know. It's not a real shithole or anything. Was it Peckers? No, I didn't. Peckers closed, I believe. I didn't oh. go to Peckers. Um, right. I, I ate a Bandanas, which is a rib place that was pretty good. But anyway. You eat ribs? Oh, yeah, I like uh, ribs, yeah. You are fairly choosy about what you eat. I'm really surprised about that, really. Well, I tried them a number of years ago, and I've enjoyed... I only like the ribs, though. I don't really like all the uh, accoutrement that sometimes comes with that, so... Yeah. Yeah, I've had ribs in uh, Kansas City, Gates, Arthur Bryant's, some hole in the wall, (coughs) you know. Arthur Treacher's. No, it's different, yeah. Um, and bandanas now down at the lake, which is pretty darn good. So yeah, yeah, I must say I like the dry ribs, you know, where they don't have the sauce on them. Oh, I like sauce. Man. Well, you can put your own sauce on. They have four different types of sauce at, like on the, the table. Yeah. And then you put your own on. I like them dry, and then I put on the sauce that I want, rather than getting hey. them all. Nice mm-hmm. dry rub. Yeah, I like a dry rub exactly. Yeah. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, I was at this hotel. It was a fairly nice hotel. And I guess I had a suite. I don't know how I always rate to get a suite, but every time I've stayed there, I, it's like this huge room. I mean, it's like a double size room. You know, I got a couch, I got a chair, but it's an older place. And so like they got the old 25 inch, you know, square TV, no flat. Oh, but no. it's on a swivel. So you can watch yeah. it from the bed or watch it from the couch. <laughs> You know? Right. And it's got like a refrigerator, you know. 
and like a breakfast bar kind of thing going on. Mini bar. Yeah. It's and so it's it's not but this time I stayed there and I'd never stayed in this room before. I don't know if it's the room or something's happened since the last time I was there, but uh, I don't remember ever staying in that room because it was a little closer uh, in than I normally am. I'm usually further down the hallway. But anyway, you know, very big, spacious. I mean, it's like third world countries don't have this kind of space. You know what I mean? Yeah, like the people. honeymoon suite or something. No, yeah. no, it was like a regular because I was with my, my buddy and uh, uh, we were there. He had a room and his was just as big. It's huge, these huge rooms. Mm -hmm. Is yours as big as mine? Well, it was about the same, uh, but uh, yeah, yeah. So anyhow, I you know, settling into the room, you know, putting my stuff. Uh, I was there for several days, so I hung up stuff, and you know, and I kind of, as I'm you know moving around the room, I'm kind of noticing this this uh, trend, this kind of uh, pattern. Okay. It's a little bit disturbing. All right. It was clean. It wasn't like it was dirty or anything, but in certain parts of the room, it seemed as if there was like splatter. Ah. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? Like there's remnants. Yeah. There's remnants and outlines of where something had been splattered. Hey. And it wasn't in one place. It was in several places. Did you bring the luminol this time? I, hope? I never bring the luminol because I cannot even think about it. But like this, the lampshade kind of like splattered on. It. Oh Jesus! Yeah. And then like by the by the the I hung stuff up in the closet, and the closet door kind of had some like remnants oh. of splatter. I don't know if this was a murder scene or like an orgy. Was this like Gary David Carradine's room? I mean, what the hell was it? <laughs> Well, I didn't notice any rope hanging in the closet. But, uh... <laughs> I picture you dancing around to uh, Goodbye Horses with yourself tucked in. You know? Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Yeah. From, uh, from uh, put some lotions in the basket. Yeah, no, I was just like, this is really odd. It just get... and I, Every time I turned around, like in the kitchen area, there was like a spatter, and then there was in the bathroom area, and I was like, this is just... Well, I might as well add to it, I guess. Well, it was all cleaned up. I mean, it was just like the faintest, but it was like, you know, the faintness it was like a Dexter episode or something, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I think somebody, like, there's like a triple homicide or something in this room. Uh, oh, yeah, there's something going on. Yeah, something with either you had been there. Some and, John Holmes. Uh, yeah. Or... Yeah. On the Johnny Wad. Yeah, I was just like a little freaked out by that, you know. I didn't sleep too well while I was gone because of that. And I'm like laying but, down, and I'm like, only only this one pillow. I chose a pillow. It was a chosen pillow. Uh -huh. I looked it over real good. It was all clean. <laughs> That's the only <laughs> pillow I used. I wonder how many guys there. Yeah, I, and then, uh, you know, I like looked over the blankets and I was just like this is probably under someone's ass about three hours ago shit. yeah no kidding yeah yeah well see this is a it was an old tennis club it's not a tennis club anymore and so like there's pictures of Gil Gerard and, and oh uh, you told me about this yeah Bernie right. Capel yeah. and yeah. uh oh well, who's the dude uh they have him on the Simpsons they spoof him you know I'm Wayne somebody or whatever but anyway um Chad Wayne or whatever, and that's they spoofed this dude. But anyway, pictures of these, you know, suit, you know, famous people from the seventies, basically. Yeah. And uh, you know, Oscar Goldman from the Six Million Dollar Man. Oh yeah, he was badass. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> you know, they were they stayed here when it was a tennis club, and now it's it's not a tennis club anymore. It's. Uh, so, that might be Oscar Goldman's DNA. It could be. It could be. <laughs> I could be sleeping in Gil Gerard's, uh, yeah, nature. Spunk, yeah. Well. yeah, 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 exactly. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, this could have been, this could have been Bernie Capel from the Love Boat, Doctor. Got my face in Charles Nelson Ramsey's uh, <laughs> love pillow. Uh. Uh, well, I had uh, what was it? Bobby Riggs was in a picture too. So mm -hmm. yeah. 
I'm, I'm like, this is just too much. Oh my God. So I had to spend several days there in this room and every night I'd come in there and I'd be like, oh my gosh, is this Artie Johnson spunk? Oh man. Very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a little odd. It's a nice place. People are nice, you know, uh -huh. courteous, but uh, I think they need to, you know, call in the the professional scrub team every once in a while because uh, <laughs> service master in there get all the exactly uh, service master out of the uh... <laughs> crime scene cleanup or whatever. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was uh, I was like, you know, and there's uh, always like some cigarette burn on the vanity, you know, left over from the 70s. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, they, they finally took them out. They used to have a TV in the bathroom. They took them out, yeah. though, and, and a phone. Oh. Like right by the toilet. They had a phone and a TV, and they finally took them out, though. Wait, the, the tag, it's been painted over. It says the Bob the Bob Crane room. Yeah, that's probably it. Oh, yeah, exactly. What the heck? Okay. I was doing dinner theater down at Lake of the Ozarks. Uh, yeah, no, it was weird. Uh, they had these little TVs on uh, mounts in the bathroom so you could see it from the toilet. Mm -hmm. And then they had a phone right next to the toilet where you could just reach over and talk on the phone like you do oh, all the time. Oh, yeah, but think of all the people that have been using that to been the poo. And stuff. I know, but they finally took them all out. They used, they were there last year. This year they weren't there, so they took them I out. I would not be using that phone. I oh, I didn't either. Well, I always thought it was weird to begin with. I'm like, that's weird. Yeah. That's just too weird. The TV was weird enough, although I did turn it on and listen to the news while I took a shower. So, now the vibrating bed that was awesome. But that was awesome. Was weird. Yeah. I did have a king size bed with all these pillows, man. It was like a hundred, a hundred of those like fancy pillows on the darn thing. Yeah. Yeah, and the cow. It was all very seventies chic. <laughs> Even all the way down to the DNA. Yes. Yeah. So all the DNA you can handle. Uh, it's What's the half-life on that stuff, anyway? I don't know, man. You know, somebody who's like a big Buck Rogers fan could probably go scrape a room and uh, clone it. Be, 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 be. <laughs> <laughs> what hey, Buck. Huh? Tweaky. Tweaky, yeah, Tweaky. Be, 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 be. Oh, oh, I don't I, I used to love Aaron Gray on that <laughs> Oh, don't get me started Aaron Gray. I don't know. <laughs> Paint my walls. Yeah, look at that. Gray. Holy cow. She had that skin tight suit she wore. <clears throat> yeah. She had a, you know, some camel toe going on. Was she in Silver Spoons also? Yes, she? yes. Oh, yes. 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 So, anyhow. Yeah. yeah, so basically, I stayed in, like, you know, 70s era you know, do -do 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 orgy room. Wow. Yeah. Nothing happened, though. No ghosts came out, you know, no screwing ghosts or anything, thank goodness. And you just prove whose DNA it is, man. You can make a fortune. <laughs> That's right. Who wants Gil Gerard's baby? That's right. I got some, uh, <laughs> I got some Captain Steubing over here. <laughs> Ventriloquist, you love uh, Rich uh, Little? No, a ventriloquist, not a. Oh, uh, ventriloquist. I don't know. Uh, I don't really like a lot of ventriloquists. No, the, the guy from the guy, you like something. Oh, I can't think of it, man. I don't know. I don't know. The guy from Soap? Billy Lester. Oh, Willie and Lester? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He was great. I got Willie Lester's uh, spunk right here. That's right, Willie Lester's. <laughs> this is like some uh, sawdust. <laughs> <laughs> Willie and Lester. You could be rich. I'm telling you, you do this right. You get some scotch tape, peel off some of that DNA. And be like, I got hey. some Ted Lang right here. Who wants Ted Lang's uh, man uh, juice there? Uh, yeah, right there. Oh my God, Gabe Kaplan! I got Gabe, Gabe Kaplan, Kaplan right here, right on the pillow. Where's... Gabe Kaplan! All you youngsters are gonna have to wiki all these people. Norman Fell! I got Norman oh, Fell right Norman here. Fell. Oh God! <laughs> Audrey Meadows or whatever her name was Audrey something. Or oh, Stanley! Oh, Stanley! 
Oh, Stanley. Yeah, I got some John Ritter. Uh, <laughs> you got some Suzanne Summers smegma on the uh, arm of this couch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Here's some of the cleanup she left behind. Come and knock on her door. Uh, yeah, no, it was weird. It was, uh, yeah. I'm not looking forward to my next visit, I'll put it that way. Right. Wow. I'm telling you right I now. actually thought, I'm like, how weird am I if I change rooms? Because, I mean, I had a choice room, you know what I mean? Yeah, and you, were, you did have a choice room, apparently. Yeah. And they were pretty full up, so. You know. I bet if I'm sitting here in the bed, what's the chances of me hitting the wall? Let me see. <laughs> That's right. Holy cow, pretty good. <laughs> Holy cow, you see that? <clears throat> yeah, hey, Marge. Yeah, it was king size bed, big old bed, you know. Yeah, sprawl out on the bed. I didn't, but somebody probably did. Bert Ward. Bert Ward. <laughs> Ta -ta. I know. Like Neil not, Patrick right here. No, I'm not as good as Butch Batman. Patrick. Yeah, Butch Patrick. Neil Patrick. Yeah. Who's that? Your buddy. <laughs> yeah, it's too late for Neil Patrick. Please. Neil Patrick Harris. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I don't know. I was trying to think of Butch Patrick. I said Neil Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I know where your all mind these is. These people, you know. I know where your mind is. Well, I know where your mind is. So, yeah, that's what happened to me. I was uh, in the uh, Lake of the Ozarks orgy uh, room, I guess. Mm. Kind of like the jungle room, you know, at uh, Elvis' house. <laughs> so did you leave your imprint at all, or...? No, no, I did not leave my imprint, no. I didn't add to the uh, artwork. Yeah, the mosaic. The mosaic, that's right. That it is. I did not add to that, thank you very much. Uh, yeah. Mm. 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 That is weird. That is weird. It is very strange, I'll tell you. So if anybody, if you want to leave a comment, you really want to know where I was at, so you could go experience it yourself. I'll uh, leave a comment and I'll, uh, I'll tell you. You can go see all the fossilized ejaculates. <laughs> I'll tell I'm you the the, the property and the room number if you really want to know. So. Yeah, Bob will take you there personally. You know. No, I'm not taking anybody there. I'll take you there. They can go go to the, the desk. I would like room, you know. I like the Gary Coleman special. <laughs> Please. I like the Dana Plato snail trail. What you talking about? Yeah, no kidding. Mr. Drummond. Well, Willis. Uh, mm. Mm. Oh. And then there's Maude. The Colorado Bane bathroom. That's right. We'll be painting this wall. What? So yeah, weird. Really weird. That is weird. What's going on with you? So uh, let's just continue the weirdness train. And, All right. <laughs> uh, we're gonna exit the Bob Lament weird train and get on the you know uh, Miles Title weird you train. Go from one car to another. There you go. So uh, you know we're running errands over the weekend, and uh, you know Miles Junior's like, hey, I'm hungry. You know, let's just go out and eat. Yeah, sure, and you don't pass up on that. Who's buying? Is what you. Well, I was said. buying. Oh well, that sucks. And uh, he's like, "We're gonna go. We're gonna go to KFC." I said, "Okay." KFC. Uh, oh, it's not goodness. really the cheapest choice, but I no, thought, it's not. That's not out of your budget. Kind of expensive, but I was like, "All right, I'll do it." Okay. For you, sod anything. So he's like, get me, uh, get me the number two combo, some kind of boneless chicken thing. Right, yeah. Okay. And you're like, I want all the bones I can get, lady. Uh, well, you're getting close. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's just, it's some, you know, young thing. Uh, you know, just, uh, order when you're ready, please. <laughs> right. I'm like, oh, okay, well, okay, number two combo. Oh, um, yeah, we don't have that right now. We got to cook it. It's going to be like seven minutes. So that's okay. I got I'm like, eh, yeah, you know, I don't know anything else you're going to have. And it's like, well, give me a number 10, you know, like, which is basically the same thing. Right. But they have that. Well, yeah, we have that. <laughs> uh, I'm like, okay. All right. All right. 
And I was I was a little hungry. I wasn't particularly hungry, but I go, um, you know, she's like, Any, anything else? Yeah. And like, and I, and I just I was not trying to be weird or anything else. I go, yes, I'll have a breast. <laughs> yeah. Just silence. one breast. One breast. Silence. Awkward silence. Just one breast is all you want. Yes. Just very eerie, awkward silence for they, a long time. Do they have one breast? Do they sell that? It's not yes. a, is it numbered? Yes. Is it a number? No, I just said I'll have a breast. Okay. Okay, silence. Yeah. Now, probably about a good 20 seconds of silence. She comes back on. Hand to God. Uh, a chicken breast? <laughs> Yes, yes, a uh, chicken breast is what I would like, yes. Maybe, oh! Maybe she was uh, working okay. on the side or something. Oh, all, all right, uh, all right, pull her out. Or maybe she's like, she'll oh. flash you for $5 or something. I don't know. Now I think like, this girl's all weirded out, right? Yeah. Oh. Now my son's like, you know, it sounds just like uh, so and so that goes to my high school. I'm like, oh, oh, great! Please don't let me just be from, you know, from your <laughs> class. Jesus, God, oh, sure geez. enough, meathead. Yeah, I know. Sure enough. Oh yeah, it is, uh, it's it's cinnamon. Yeah, she works here. I'm like, oh Jesus, God, why? With a name like cinnamon, she probably wouldn't no. I don't know what her cinnamon. name was. You know, just, I made it up. But yeah, you know, it's Susie. You know, it was like Susie. Yeah. I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> very awkward, very awkward. Uh, I give her the credit card, the debit card, a bang, her hands touch. Now I'm feeling weird because now her hands are touched. I'm like, oh Jesus! Does she wink at you? <laughs> I really tried to avoid the eye contact, and She's I like... did not smile because I'm like waiting for like Chris Hansen to show up like any second. She's like, know? hey, hey, buddy, hack it, you know. Miles, let me have a seat here at the kitchen table. All right. <laughs> oh, you put the breast down. Okay. Put the breast. What were you doing at KFC, Miles? Uh, 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 just trying to score some breasts. Yeah, I was paying for them, $1. fifty or whatever. A little Two breast bucks. and thigh action, I guess, Chris, is what I was trying to get. Yeah, a little breasts. Oh. From a young cashier? Young, uh, ten young tender, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, come on. I mean... Really? <laughs> what could be the confusion there? I, I don't, don't know. Maybe, maybe she, maybe she, uh, uh, a chicken roast? Maybe she got a camera on you and she recognized you from your days of uh, rubbing against people. I don't know. I was, I, it was getting weird, I'm telling you. And would you like that with a side of my phone number? <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I, I don't know what, yeah, okay. Were you like at the, um, <laughs> Drive through, you know, moving your hands like you were adjusting the water in the shower and testing. Oh water. no, I kept my hands at ten and two. Believe me, after that, I was very, I was very weirded out after that whole thing. <laughs> like, I, you know, any other place, you know, you said breast, you know, people are like, oh, well, God, what's? You can't tell a chicken place about people getting weird. <laughs> oh, I don't know what else would you call. It? I don't, I don't know of anybody who orders. At KFC and just gets like one thing. Well, I didn't want a whole meal. I wasn't that hungry. I like just give me a breast. I like white meat. I don't like dark meat. I like white meat. I was like, give me a breast. So you okay? Um, a human breast. Uh, <laughs> breast. Well, which one's cheaper? Doctor <laughs> <laughs> um, Lecter, what would you like? Chicken breast is five thirty-six. A mine are only ten. If you <laughs> try to upsell you. Would you like some thighs? But you gotta take two. You can't just take oh, one. Some big juicy thighs. Well, I guess. Or it's on the menu, I guess. Or... Oh, jeez Louise. <laughs> I don't know. I felt very dirty. I mean, <laughs> Only you would screw up ordering a chicken I breast. I didn't screw KFC. up ordering. It's a legitimate order. You want that wanted, extra I, crispy? I just said, she said, you want anything else? I said, yes, I'll have a breast. Did you say I'm lactating? Uh, you can't order a breast by itself. You can. Is it on the menu? I have no idea. And I'm going to KFC. Why can't you order? Why can't you? Well, you mean you couldn't go up there and say, "Give me your drumstick." I think I probably would say I'd like a chicken breast. I don't think I would just say the word breast. I would, uh, you know. 
How could she? How could qualify. she even get that weird though? How could she? Even... Well, no, it's just because of the word breast. So that way, you just preface it with chicken. You can't say breast at a chicken place. Oh my god, what's this about? I want chicken booby. Oh, I, don't I didn't say boobies or cans or hooters or knockers. Or... Yeah, I have a couple of hooters. Oh, some big juicy uh... jugs. <laughs> Center I want cut. one jug. <laughs> jug, yeah, jugs of uh, Kool Aid. You know I mean? Nice. Oh yeah, great. So you, your son's you like, all laughing at you. You like center cut? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my son was completely cracking up. He was like, "Oh my gosh." Nice. Yeah, I'm like, I'm nervous. Well, uh, probably the way you said it, because you heard yourself say... I didn't, say, no, I heard, swear, I didn't. You heard I yourself didn't. say breast, and then everybody else in the real world heard you go, oh, I have a, a breast, a juicy breast. <laughs> Ooh. That's what they heard, like this pervert, you know, talk. That's you in the real world. Uh, Clarice, I'd like uh, to see a breast. I'd say they're only one generation away from poor, flat, white trash. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I just, I swear I didn't do any weird voice. It was, there's no innuendo in it. Uh, you like doing Ernie Kovacs saying breast or something. No, it was not. I swear, I swear. She goes, do you want anything else? I said, yeah, I'll have a breast, please. You didn't do like Woody Allen. Ooh, 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 I'd like a... No, there was no fumbling <laughs> with it or nothing. I just went right for it. I said, I will have a breast. Please. I just have a breast, you know, a simple, <laughs> a simple a breast. breast. It's just a simple one. Yes, Sunyi. Thank you. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, yeah, extra so Chris, crispy, extra crispy. Yeah. I know. I know. This is a whole, you know, uh, Chris. How did you eat that? Like, How did you eat that breast? Just with your fingers? Yeah. Oh, okay. Just eat it with, what do you mean? What? I don't know if you got a fork or what. No. <laughs> I wait till I got home. I just, you know, I just, uh, I, I'm trying to remember you eating. I don't remember if I enjoyed you eating. Near me, Most people so. don't, no. Yeah. Most people really don't. It's yeah. been a while since we've uh, eaten together, so. I'm a fast eater. I don't really like to sit there and talk. And Yeah, that's a, uh, something like Let's that. Let's talk about your day, Pop. Yeah. No, no, it's not. I'm just going to be digging into this breast, kids. <laughs> I'm going to be working this breast real Look good. Look out. <laughs> With some rib work meat. Work this breast. <laughs> Got some rib meat on this breast. Rib meat on this <laughs> From the center cut, yeah. I mean. So I don't know. I, mean, I can't. I I'm just your face is all greasy from eating this breast. Yeah, probably with, with your fingers. That's just gross. I don't know. Because that's a lot of face, folks. I don't know. You never seen Miles? But... <laughs> it is big. Man. It that's is huge. that's some area. That's some like square miles there. This guy. Mercy Boss Hog. It's just like that. Yeah, pretty much. No, it's it's kind of like, let me think here. Well, we had to say that. I'm trying to think of what your face, how I could represent your face. Well, I always say you're Barney Rubble because you got no neck, but. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's like a live action Barney Rubble, like a, you know, the cartoon Barney Rubble, but live, not the Rick Moranis. Yeah. He's got a big face, you know, so that's you, big face. Oh, well, I don't know. So now I can't go back to KFC for a year or something. Uh, well, you get kicked out of a lot of places. Wasn't there some Chinese place that you, like, you know, make googly eyes with somebody or something? Yeah, I don't know. I, yeah. Things get weird. What to do? Yeah. Yeah. You said I want some uh, some young guy or something there? Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, no, that's I interesting. Know, like, like, I had the kids like at a buff Chinese buffet like a, a month ago, and their little buddy, I swear to God, stole like twenty pairs of uh, chopsticks. chopsticks. I'm like, yeah. what the fuck? I use them. Uh, why? Why do you take all these? Oh, it's my penis stretcher. Jeez. I'm getting ready to go down to the Lake of the Ozarks. <laughs> well, no, I guess. <laughs> uh, there's a competition down there. Paint the room. So just be careful, I guess, if you're ordering out people, man. Just be very specific as what you're uh, getting. Yeah, I guess so. Well, you're certainly an example of that. Do not leave the door open, you know what I'm saying? 